Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of mine and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I thought I would go over how to print a shipping label through Etsy. Now printing a shipping label through Etsy is great. Not only is it going to save you a little bit of money as you're going to be getting a commercial based price, but every time you buy a shipping label, Etsy is going to automatically send your buyer a tracking number, which saves you time and is just a little bit more efficient. So without further ado, let's get into how to print a shipping label on Etsy. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to Etsy.com and if you're not already signed in, now is the time to do so. So just go up here and click sign in. Once you've signed in, go to your shop manager and then over on the left hand side, click on orders and shipping. So once you're in your orders and shipping, it should look a little something like this. And you just wanna come over here to the right hand side and click on this little truck and it will say get shipping labels. Once you click on that, this page here should pop up. So here is where you will fill out your shipping label and it's really good because they have the shipping date and it's really great because you actually have a lot of options here. So say you're going to send it out on Wednesday, July 21st, you just simply click on that. So the ship date is really good and gives you a lot of options. So here is where you will need to know a little bit more information about your package that you're going to send, such as the package weight, length, width and height. It's a great time to get out a ruler and a scale. First thing you want to do is click package type. And if you're a little bit confused, you're able just to click this and it will give you a package description. So just for example's sake, let's click on it and see what it says. So this is really great if you've never shipped anything before because Etsy has this page called shipping help and here it will just go through and tell you how to best ship things. So the first thing you want to do is click package type. Is it a parcel or is it a tube? So for this one, I will click parcel. So next you want to do the package weight. So now is a great time to get out that scale and to weigh your package. Just as an example, I've done one kilo. If you don't know what your dimensions are, now is a great time to get out that ruler. Once you've popped in your package information, the delivery service will pop up. The delivery service that it has suggested for me is the Australia Post Parcel Post, which is great because it will arrive in two to five business days. And here you are also able to add in additional services such as extra cover and the GST is all here as well. So here it says the estimated delivery is July 23rd to the 26th, which is great because the buyer isn't expecting it until July 26th to August the 2nd. Now is the time to click the ship date. So like I said, you can ship it today, July 19th, Tuesday, July 20th, or Wednesday. There is a lot of options there. If you add a thank you note to your buyer, you simply just click add note. So if you want to add a nice little thank you note to your buyer, now is the time to do that and then click save. And then it will say the address that you're shipping to. So you want to just double check that and double check what you are sending out. So now click review your purchase. And then if that all looks good, you are able to buy. You are able to get an email sent to you as well, just confirming it. So that is a great option as well. That's it. That's how you're able to buy the Etsy shipping labels. I really hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.